No one wants to watch me f That's just not something I'm great at. It's just like it is what <laughs> it is. That was the saddest post-game press conference yeah. I've ever heard. <laughs> Go to baseball games and save up enough change and get bleacher tickets for oh a holiday game? Oh my god, if you were homeless, <laughs> you okay. spent money on the fucking baseball game. Of course game. I would! And my nickname became Orange the Dr Dealer, point. <laughs> All right, welcome to episode 107 of The Bracket. Today we are debating things that we think we would be good at, but we'll probably never try. Uh, very interesting topic today. Uh, we're missing a couple guys, but today we do have... Who's just walking yeah, mid-thing? Yeah, who's just happening? Way to be, Rudy, Rudy, Rudy fucking Rudy. grown ass. Rudy, we're in the no, middle yeah, of the Rudy, podcast, the my brother. The recording, yeah. fucking... Rudy, they're yelling at you in mass. Cool ass, Rudy. We're just in the middle of recording. You're just stepping in the middle of the thing. We're just recording up, a guys? podcast, you brain-dead moron. We're in the middle of moron, You brain-dead stuttering moron. I, I literally bitched you on that phone call. That's I said, are you true. actually mad about this? Are you, you are you, I pretended to be mad at Rudy over something, and he said, like, Oh, Mr. Tommy, are you actually mad? I I, I didn't mean to make you mad. He cowered like a little schoolgirl. Yeah, that's what. That's definitely what happened. It is. Footage will be out. We'll, we'll see. You have to see the footage. Uh, yeah. nice I miss doing Rudy, crossword Rudy? puzzles with you, Rudy. Yeah. I miss doing crosswords with you too, man. Yeah. We miss you, Rudy. Not no one else. Mook, you're, you're good there. Smokes, we don't know you well enough yet, but we miss you too, I guess, KB. It's all good, baby. All right, have a good show, guys. Miss you. <laughs> miss you too. Uh, but yeah, today we got a little bit of a ragtag crew. Uh, we got Mook. We got Nikki Smokes. <laughs> uh, Rudy. <laughs> Did you just well, fucking uh, fart? Is he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yes, yes. Yes. you <laughs> would think. Yes. That was the gayest fart of ever. <laughs> Wait, you guys are gay. He's, he's, he's got these guys. Real. He's got he's these guys. guys. Wait, it was Clemmer. Oh, it was Clemmer. That, <laughs> that was his mouth. Oh, you Dirt bag. <laughs> They thought that was real. That was crazy. Me and Unreal. Smokes might be the two most gullible guys of the company. I'm definitely number one. <laughs> that, I mean, this is something you guys got to learn is that uh, Clemmer has... Ben Mintz exists. Oh, yeah. yeah. And Clemmer has... Uh, you he's did, on his own list. You just convinced <laughs> that Mintz, he thought he, he thought he was getting arrested. Rested, by yeah. You. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Forgot about yeah. that. But yeah, Clemmer, something to learn is that Clemmer has the best fake fart sound in the company and maybe the world. Uh, it's got it. Like no, that story. was really good. Uh, but yeah, we got a ragtag crew here today. Jack Mack as well joining in and Clemmer. Uh, a couple of vacancies today, but uh, I'm very excited. I think this is an interesting subject. I think us, maybe as a company and as like a gender in general, we love thinking we can do things that we probably can't do at all. Uh, and yep. I think the options that were submitted are proof of that. I'm very excited to get into it. All right, first matchup of the day. Uh, number five seed versus the 12 seed. The five seed's a very interesting one. Women's sports. Uh, yeah, this is a great one. It's a yeah. great I one. I think about this often. Yeah, uh, women's sports. Uh, guys here do think they will be be good at women's sports. Uh, they talk about it all the time. Like what? Some and some of them do. Yeah. Some of them do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is a? There was a team that played like a professional women's team in something and beat them, right? What was Recently. it? Recently. Yeah. It, it was uh, hockey. Uh, no, I, I thought think. it was soccer. Didn't that high school soccer? Uh, oh, there, that was yeah. uh, the Mia Ham team, uh, under 17 no, uh, team. Well, it was no, no, Dallas, just under 17. 14. 14. 14. Mm -hmm. And then it, and it wasn't Mia Ham. It was after that. It was recently. Oh, no, but I'm talking about before that. This happened with Mia Ham. Oh, really? And I think it was under 17. It was all point. these freaks 16. on the current team. That got beat. Oh, maybe this how also happened twenty years ago as well. So this <laughs> is the second time this happened. And then in Russia, they had the U16 team play the women's national hockey team. And of course, U16 <laughs> men are boys, and they won, I think, 19 to nothing. Jesus. <laughs> and then, of course, Clay Travis is wanting to do yeah. a, I think, high school varsity <laughs> yeah, basketball I'm game sure. against the Las Vegas Aces. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I think he'd actually lose that one. I think the pro woman team would beat the high school basketball. It depends on the team, not the best teams in the country, which isn't like crazy to think about either. These yeah. are like yeah, no, like those high school kids are actually good at ball. They just be yeah. so fast. I don't know. Yeah, like an AAU team. Like yeah, is it Montverde? Is it a uh, Cooper Flags team? Yeah, that's Whatever Cooper. Guys like Cooper Flag. Of course they would lose. Kelsey Plum would look awful out there. Yeah, that'd be rough. Uh, and that's going up against the number twelve seed being homeless. Something that they think they would be good at. <laughs> think about never this try. I, yes. How can you be good at being homeless? I guess like you're not just a die. crafty guy. Yeah. No, you, you can make the best of it. Yeah, not die, I guess, is the goal of being homeless. And like people think they could do that. They could successfully be the upper tier of uh, yeah. lifestyle for homelessness, yes. I guess. I could be homeless in Chicago because they give you those big ass fucking tents to live in. Oh, yeah. I could do that. But I don't know it's how cold, it is in like, though, California. Man. Food and. Probably cold, even easier shelter. in California because of the weather. That's where you'd want you'd want to go to a warm weather climate. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, Tommy, we'll start with you. Huh, this is tough. What do you think you'd be better um, at women's sports or being homeless? I mean, I'm, I'm not athletic by nature, but against women, I probably would be a lot better. Home, I don't I don't think I'd be a good homeless person. I think that 
being homeless fucking sucks. Uh, wow. I mean, there are times Bold where take. I will, Hot take. <laughs> there, are, there are times where I'll be like in Grand Central or somewhere and I'll be like, oh, that's where I would sleep if I'd be homeless. But I don't think I'd be good at it. I do think if I was playing some girls and like, you know, basketball or something, I would shine more than I would against men for sure. So I'll go with women's sports. One for women's sports. Clemmer. Yeah, for me, uh, look, Meek Phil beat me in basketball, so I don't think I would do very well against anybody. So who am I to say that? But uh, be, I think I'd be quite good at being homeless. I think you'd beat a 45-year-old woman in basketball, though. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, who knows? Uh, I lost to Meek Phil, so my confidence is shot. But I do think I'd be a good homeless person. I I'm, can't believe that happened. I was just about to say, I feel like we glossed over that too much as a company. Yeah, what, what did I, I hear? Oh, yeah, Meek Phil beat me in one-on-one in basketball. I don't even know how he did it. He was throwing up all, like, all over himself. It was a disaster. <laughs> he was uh, vomiting? He was yes. like, yeah. throwing up? He's yeah. a big puker. You guys know this. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't know like what happened. I was, was going to say throwing up shots, but he's... Nope, it's kind of like a dark throw. thing for me to think <laughs> about. But, uh, and Big Ev beat you in athletic competition. That's also really... Th- well, we played one-on-one to three. Because Eb couldn't go past three. I mean, you're just not, <laughs> you're just not athletic. Oh, and I'm old now. I retired after well, Meek like, Phil. Why, why do you keep putting yourself because up I because athletic competition? Well, because I'm playing Meek Phil and Big Eb. I still think t- gained to eleven. I beat Big Eb. But you're in their, in their head. They're like, we're playing fucking clever. I'm sure they are. <laughs> I, I, but they, those, I, I don't yeah, know that's pretty. Going. I think it's pretty Eve. I, I, yeah. I, I, I complete. I, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out of that. I'm out of that. Out of that game. I'm, I'm a coach only, but I'd be good at being homeless because I'm really good. I think at like uh, keep myself entertained. So like I could go to a library and like all right, that like maybe I become like a really like like uh, well read. Like all that free time, you could do some amazing stuff with. And I think I would I would just try to become very well, well read. read. Where you get all the books? Go to the library. I don't think they'd let you in. No, they do. No, the, no, the, li- the library. Homeless. No, no, well, no. The library is the king, and also. You can do a lot with deodorant. I think it's just it's just you have to you the have library to library is the king that you just The king for the home like it's the uh, kingdom for the homeless. It's the greatest place for homeless people do to go. Do they go there? I don't think I've ever seen a homeless person in the library. They're, they're not they're not playing the game right cuz you got to go in, you got to read don't books. Don't you need a library card to go in and <laughs> no, a library card is no, no. registered to where you live? No. No, no, you don't no you don't know the library. I you, have the public library card. I had to lose my address to sign up. You to take out a book. You can stay in the library and read without a card being given. Interesting. As long as you want? Yes, as long as their hours are open. It's warm there. They have bathrooms, libraries. Library. <laughs> See, I, I think about this a lot. If you put on, like, like an old Vietnam veteran jacket right now, you'd look so good homeless. Oh, like, yeah. you'd be the perfect homeless guy. Just Long beard, so one of those cold. hats. Yeah, yeah, one of those hats, like a dog, maybe. I think you could pull it off. Try it sometime. No, I don't want to try. I don't want to try that. <laughs> it's like, like Tommy said, being homeless, that sounds like a horrible, you know, they, you know. Horrible this time of year too. Christmas is very sad. I get another hot take, Jack Mac. I'll probably go with homeless. Actually, definitely. I was thinking women's sports, but some of those I I agree with uh, what Smokes was saying over there, Nikki, because some of those the WNBA teams they're, they're pretty fucking good. Mm. Yeah, and even the college teams like they're pretty they're they're actually elite. Now homeless, I'd probably find. Can I get a job? Well. I, yeah, but yeah, you can have a job and be homeless. Yeah. That is true. Can you work your way out of homelessness in this scenario? I don't. I feel like I you would need do to that. No, that would not. That would end the. That would end homelessness. Yeah, you yeah. have to be. Homeless. I would. Uh, but when it isn't the best homeless person, somebody that no longer becomes homeless. They're not homeless. But they're not homeless anymore. They're no longer the best homeless person. I would say homeless because you know, I have Clemmer. My issue with you being homeless would you have like no fat. Right. I have yeah. a fat that could like yeah. keep me alive, especially during the winter. I have to be in a warm weather. Yeah, you area. could fast for a couple days and be fine. Yes, mm-hmm. exactly. Like I could go. I thought like San Diego mm-hmm. or like. Okay, so you would go there. I would also. I'm not. I don't use like. I mean, maybe if I became homeless, I'd become a druggie. But I don't use drugs at all. The if What's you don't like? use drugs, you can. The the shelter system is pretty good. Okay. Meek. Or make move. Oh, oh no! Fuck you! Oh, oh, honest fuck. every time, Ken oh, Jack. Honest oh, you're just Ken fucking Jack. throwing shots. Honest, honest mistake. <laughs> you piece of Apologize. shit. Apologize. Um, I think I'd be. I think I'd be good at being homeless because I know that I would love heroin. <laughs> I like that. And Actually, I think I would just ball out. Like I would just fuck around, have a good time, like bubbles from the wire type type of situation. Mm-hmm. Uh, plus, in like San Fran, the homeless are they run the city. That's also true. It's People true. do say that. You find you find the right situation, you you could have a good life. Whereas in female sports, I would get obliterated. You yeah. hit Portland, they make you like the mayor. Yeah. Is yeah. what's her name like? Yeah. Uh, is who's the who's the girl that works here? That Peyton that just destroys you and everything. 
Oh yeah, yeah. It's the one-sided rivalry. What, mm-hmm. that, what does that have to do with anything? No, just women destroying him in athletic oh. activity. <laughs> what, what do you mean? That was you not a far jump. Like homelessness? Is that what you thought? No, no, it was sports. And like, what? Because she wanted you to do the push-up thing, and then what was the other thing? She tackled. Yeah, me. I love coming on this show. This is, this is awesome. <laughs> um, Every time. <laughs> yeah, she tackled me, challenged me to do push-ups, and then laughed at me just looking at me. So <laughs> she beat you in push-ups. No, she tried. She told me to do push-ups, and I said no. And she said you should probably get in the gym then. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, I'm going homeless for sure. Homeless for sure. It's three to three to one right now. Nikki smokes. I'm gonna go with homeless too. I mean, I'm a pretty good athlete, but I just love to be homeless, do hood rat shit with my friends, steal people's Amazon packages, shit like that, and you just Ooh. get away with it. I mean, it's just, it's basically Christmas every morning you wake up. You just walk by someone's door, pray there's a package out there, buff that shit, sure and there's no consequences. <laughs> every day is just such a blessing. Another, 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 another Christmas morning. Free packages. I mean, another like, what's the worst thing that paradise. happens? You get arrested, you get free food, free shelter. Like, sign me the fuck up. It and I can do drugs as much as I want. That's true. There is, I mean, there's really nothing to lose. Yeah. It's like the, yeah. the ultimate punishment they can give you is giving you shelter right. by there putting is, you in jail. There is, a great, the whole, there is a great freedom with no responsibilities. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. the homeless people downtown, they're the best. I mean, they, they live their life. They mm. could dance, miss teeth. You're talking about downtown where? Orlando, Fort Lauderdale. I mean, anywhere you go downtown, like the crackheads, are, they're just, they're lit. Mm. You would clean up with homeless girls, too. Oh, my God. I'd... <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna. I bet you wouldn't. You don't think I could bang a homeless girl? I bet you wouldn't clean up. <laughs> <laughs> the what, what's your What's your criteria for that? Why not? I just bet you wouldn't. Okay. <laughs> All right. I bet I would. All right. The only All one right. way to find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, KB. Uh, women's sports. I would vie for an Olympic medal in wrestle, women's wrestling. I think. At, Maybe right compete. Now. The equivalent of that in the homeless community would be what? An Olympian homeless would be like someone who's always stuffed. And, <laughs> Just and a full person. Constantly clean. full and warm. <laughs> and clean. I don't think I could achieve that, so I'll go women's sports. That's a, that's a pretty good criteria. Do you think you could compete at 115 pounds in the UFC right now, women's division? 115? Yeah. Like but me? You no, you alone. get to you get to be your current. Let's say you go up against... Uh, Wiley Zhang right now. Oh, she would crush Don't it. Don't be stupid. You have no life, KB. You you would get crushed. Oh, no. I w- I w- I'm saying I wouldn't compete in okay. mixed martial arts because I don't know them. Yeah. Yeah. I think but he would But now that you well. say it, a 115 pounder? I probably could. <laughs> I think he would. You're probably going to write uh, Jang's only I think champion. she'd sleep you in the first round. No, I don't, think he w- I don't think he would get slapped. I don't think so. I think he would lose. Really? I think he would be able to take her down and control her on the ground. I, I think I would take her down easily. If she hit me right or choked me right, I'm, I'm out. Ooh. Okay. Nice. What about a 100 and, uh, what, 55 pound? What, what, oh, my no, God, that does no. exist in the PFL. Yeah. Kayla Harrison. Yeah. She's huge. So, She's like. What is that, cyborg? the heavyweights? That, yeah, it probably is heavyweight. Well, well it's, they don't call them heavyweights. <laughs> but, <laughs> I didn't yeah. realize that, yeah. What, about what do they the call them? What do they call them? I'm spider. curious. <laughs> Plus well, 155, they would give it the that same has to be cur- like super curvy division. Weight. No, that's lightweight division. It's the it's, it's the thick. same. It's yeah. the, <laughs> PBW. It's, it's the same name oh, they give the, the 155 pound BBW. men. You need a what? I said BBW. B- oh, okay. I thought you were going for a bit there. Uh, next option, uh, <laughs> giving oral. So I assume this person meant giving <laughs> head to men. Uh, yeah, let's I, roll with say, that. I love eating yeah. box. <laughs> yeah. Sucking dick. We'll Sucking dick. Which, like, theoretically, we like we know what we like, so we should oh, be I good would, at I it. I didn't submit this one. I'd be incredible at sucking. <laughs> <laughs> and that's going up against the 13 seed rapping. Uh, oh. Rapping <laughs> is something they think they'd be good at, but never try. Uh, start with UKB. Rapping. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's nothing. Nothing. Like I just wouldn't be good at sucking dick. Bad gag reflex. Rapping, I think I kn- I had the words down, like the the writing part, but not the delivery. The actual delivery. Better as, than as a rapper, I think you got something in there, Kate Kyle. I would be better than filating. Filating. Sure Fellatio. Nikki smokes. Good word. I'm gonna go with rapping too. Um, if I'm ever tripping balls, I could drop at least sixteen to eighteen bars. I'm pretty good at rapping. Um, there's just no way I could ever put a dick in my mouth and be good. Time out. I could make a dick come. <laughs> I don't think I could do the equivalent in the rap universe. 
So okay. are you switching to sucking dick? So the equivalent of making it someone come with your with rapping would be like oh, like give them like goosebumps or like make them go whoa. Yeah, I think the yeah. whoa. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I couldn't do that. So sucking dick. Sucking dick. Okay. So we're I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with rapping now. There's there's just no way, no shot. Mm-hmm. Mook. Yeah, I'm gonna go head. I'm gonna go oral for sure. Um, I think I could give some sloppy top if I needed to. Yeah. If I had to in the situation, if I was in prison. <laughs> That type of thing. Mm-hmm. You get broken. Undoubtedly. Yeah, and I, I couldn't rap. When when that happened, uh, like I feel like you just need to get past that initial... I'm sucking dick thought. Yeah, and then you'd be, I assume, great at it. But I'd like, be a world class, yeah. Like yeah. jumping off a cliff. Kind of yeah. like jerking yourself off. Basically, yeah. But that part should... That the should second be the time would be yeah. the easy, yeah. Yes, exactly. Uh, Jack Mack. Yeah, I mean, I'm homophobic, so I, like, I just... <laughs> I wouldn't be able to fucking. I'm just, I'm just straight up homophobic. So rapping, I just, don't, I can't even talk about it. This is like, this is, this is, I love this guy. Respect, respect. <laughs> like, like yeah, credit yeah. to you guys. Like, but I'll, I'll be awful at rapping. But uh, yeah, it's like the battle of like your two biggest hatreds. <laughs> no, 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 no. I like rap. I like rap. I like Sorry. rap. Jack Max a biter. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, Clemmer. I, I, I am so bad at like eating things I don't like. I think I could. I think I could suck the cock. That part. Oh, oh, no, no, come on, pause. It's, it's pause. The, hey yo, it's, it's I, the, I'm also phobic now. <laughs> yeah, it's the ejaculation that would. I, I oh, really. It would really. Ru- it would, oh, it would ruin you'd me. You'd have to swallow too. I, yeah. And I would be so. I'd be so anxious about when it's gonna happen. I would. I, I would be a train. I, I don't. I, I don't know. That, that would be very. Rapping is but I'm, but I'm, I'm, I'm terrible at rapping. Yeah. So I don't I don't know I, I guess I got I guess I I almost want to abstain I don't know what do you think you'd be better nah, I, wait Clemmer I think you'd be a good like rapper in like the long neck crew <laughs> yeah that guy you in like what? the 90s being like I got a cat and it's in a hat well it's not the 90s it's the, like the 80s like beasties rap yeah. I could do that so I guess that I guess that would be because I just think I would be so I would be so anxious for the for the the sperm to hit my back of my throat I think oh, <laughs> oh. Shut it down! Shut so it down! down. Hey, you, I'm walk not out of here. I'm answering the question. I'm trying to do my best I can for this show. So descriptive. <laughs> so which one are you gonna pick? One. Pick rapping, one. Rapping, rapping, rapping. Rapping. Three to two. Tommy smokes. Yeah, this is tough. I mean, one of these things I recently did for the first time on oh. video last month, and the other mm-hmm. one is rapping. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, his joke. Yeah, his joke. Oh. Tommy smokes. Uh, no, I mean I don't know. I am kind of a rapper now, so I don't know if I could even put myself in the shoes of like. I don't think you can. Uh, but so but you also give Glock Lock on advisors. Yeah, I mean yeah. you got the technique yeah, down. I mean I would be really good at. And again, it's, I don't want to suck dick, but it's very easy. Ladies, just focus on the tip. Enough of that shaft. There's no feeling down there. Lick that tip. Yeah. I mean words to so, live by. Sucking dick. You're gonna go with sucking dick. All right, then we're tied up three to three. Um. I don't think any of us. I'd never thought once I would be good at rapping, so I feel like I gotta go with sucking dick. Oh, because I think I've at least thought once like I could probably be doing better than this person is doing right now, because it's just no good. You thought that before? Mid, While mid, getting mid blow job? Oh, in college, like all the time, I was like, this. Sucks. I've never, I'm never, I've never. Yeah, there's times where I'm like this hanging out with the wrong great, woman. But I've never like, God, oh, yeah, I'd be dude. doing this. I, so I, I gotta get it. Yeah. Yeah. I've never sub me. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I was sucking me. No, you never had the thought while getting head. You're just like, I'd much rather be fucking right now. This you, sucks. Ac- you accidentally say your own name. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Imagining myself oh, giving my head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, giving head's gonna move on. Uh, all right, next up, number eight versus the nine. The eight is kind of similar. Uh, being a bottom, being gay, and being a bottom. Oh my oh, god. god! The same person submitted both. <laughs> What's a bottom? Was. The guy getting fucked. I'd be really bad at that. Yeah. Word. Got it. And that's going up against the number nine seed, scamming, being a scam artist. Oh, man. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> Just, Tom- yeah, I was hoping. I was hoping. <laughs> Tommy Smokes. <laughs> yeah, I'd be really bad at being a bottom. I, I don't. Too dominant? Seems painful. <laughs> seems like it hurts. Uh, there's nothing. I'd just be, ugh, ugh, ow. I don't think that gets anyone going. So Mm-mm. I don't think I'd be a great, but yeah, scammers. There are times where like 
You do scam you, people you here. You find how you yeah. do look like a scammer. Yeah, it's true. Whoa, oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's crazy. Whoa, today's <laughs> <laughs> climate. Easy. Yo, the smokes are going at it today. Um, so, but yeah, there are times where it's like a scammer gets caught. It's like that's how you got caught. Yeah. So I'll go with. Uh, I've never been like that's how you're getting fucked in the ass. So I'll, I'll go with a scammer. <laughs> like that video of that dude in Congress or whatever. The, yeah, I wasn't that, watching that, like, like critiquing his form. Is the video actually out of yeah. that? Yeah, Joey has yeah, it. Yeah, Joey has it. Okay, I didn't know. I obviously saw the <laughs> photos and whatnot. I didn't know there was an actual. Not much to see. I don't. It's a dick in a butt. I'm not going <laughs> to. Yeah, he's on the boat. <laughs> uh, Clemmer. I think I'd be better at being a scammer. I, I would feel so guilty, though. I, I was in sales for 20 years, so I, I have no problem like asking people for money, and like I think I could do that. I would just, I would just The guilt would be awful. I'd feel so, Moral clamor. I, w- I would feel genuinely bad if I took someone's money. Conscious clamor. Mm. I, but I, I, I think I'd be so bad at being a bot. I, I don't like... I, I don't think... Like, you don't pain. think about it that way. Think about, like, you are doing this no matter what. Would you be successful at it? I just, I just know me. I mean, I, I, can only, I can only be myself. I just know like the guilt would drive me crazy. But I think, I, I think I would be pretty good at it though. Think like you're scamming Tommy for a video then. Like, don't think about. Oh it. yeah, I think I yeah. Oh yeah, then I, I'd be much better at that. Much I have better to imagine. At that. Yeah. So two for scamming, Jack Mac. You would be so you, you would be great at surviving Barstool or something. You'd I would love awful. to survive. He'd be awful. Would, he's, well, he's the guy who thinks he'd be great that that is not. He's That's, Jacob. This is the guy. That, the no, the reason Tommy is so great. Oh, boy. No, no. The, <laughs> The reason wow. the reason Tommy is so great at Survivor is because he's playing Survivor against people who have never seen the game before, and he just dominates them. It's like yeah. uh, no shit. You read the rule book. Yeah, you know how the game is played. Really Congratulations. Has no feel of human beings. And it's all a human being game. <laughs> Jack Mac. Yeah, uh, scammer. I was a scammer back in high school. We <laughs> used shit. to we used to get baseball card packs, like really nice baseball card packs, and we would open them up. No, you and, piece of shit. No. Yeah, and we would take them out and then find the really good like signatures and whatnot and then take them and then put them back up. Oh, I hate you, dude. Yeah, no, I mean, I I, I, I repented for my sins, but I think I'd be pretty good. We were successful at it, too, let me tell you. Also, in, I went to boarding school. Uh, there was this Russian at the He was a, uh, the son of a Russian oligarch at the end of the hall. And we would play poker two or three times a week. And it was a uh, head-to-head, $100 buy-in. And I would just rig the deck every time. Oh, my God. Like, oh my I love God. this fucking guy. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, cool. But I haven't, I stopped once I went to college. I haven't, re- I haven't scammed anybody since. Mm. I haven't scammed anybody since, although you could be scamming us right now by saying that. That is true. That, this could, but I, I gave it up. Um, yeah. All right. So another one for scamming. As, uh, three to zero right now. Mook. Jack Max really on his Andrew Tate shit today with the, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, the yeah. scamming and the homophobic <laughs> yeah. stuff. Um. I can't scam. I, I have too much of a guilty conscience. I, I don't think I could do it, although I think I'm scamming Barstool for a salary right now. Damn, you just stole my joke. I, ah. I did that on purpose. I knew you were going to say it. <laughs> Fucking con- it's, uh, how about you still do it? Yeah, right, yeah I will. Yeah, yeah. um, what was the other one? Being uh, a bottom? Being a bottom. Yeah, I'd be good at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Undoubtedly. No, I, both of these scenarios, like the head and the bottom, I keep thinking of like prison scenarios, and yep. I'm like, yeah, if I had to do it, I'd do it. Uh, Are you attracted to redheaded women, Mook? I am not. I like uh, redhead I, cartoon women. I am. I respect them, but I can't. You're like a black guy who only dates white girls. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> That's what yeah. everyone says about Mook. <laughs> Dating <laughs> non reddits I think uh, yeah. redheads are the best of the best, top of the top. Whoa. Really yeah, you don't me. like hot redheads? No. I, I, I hot- like them, but I, I can't. I could never like go out with one. I could <laughs> probably never have sex with one. <laughs> Like I feel like you definitely yourself. could. You definitely yeah, could. You could. No, I've I've uh, actually denied a couple of redheads in my in my time. On God. On God. A redhead queen. Tentos. Oh, that's a damn shame. Uh, Nikki smokes. All right. Well, Mook stole my joke. Uh, no, 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 no. I never heard it. Yeah. I mean, I guess I'm already scamming Barstool right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, I would, You're a dog, dude. I, I, I would definitely go scammer. I mean, my scam was a lot easier than Jack Max in high school. Everyone wanted fake IDs, so we would just collect the money for the fake IDs and just never give anyone fake IDs. Mm. And oh, wow. that was it. What, but, they can't do yeah. anything about it. No, you can't do anything about it. We just be like, oh, the guy got roped. Sorry. Yeah. We gave him the beat money. The sh- someone beat the shit out of you. Nah, nah. No? I was I was on top of the food chain in high school. <laughs> out of boy. Not a, not a flex, just like an absolute fucking dirtbag piece of shit. That's what I was back then. Um, I'm going with scamming. 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 Oh, so you would make up an excuse. It wasn't just like, no, I'm taking that money. It was like, oh, the guy who made it couldn't. Do yeah, that. the guy got roped. Gotcha. Yeah. 
Mm. What does that mean? You keep saying that he got roped. Roped, like, like he got caught. Caught, gotcha, caught. Gotcha, like gotcha. Like cowboy. Yeah, I've just never heard it in that. It's yeah. Huh? I told you, I'm going to take you to Florida. I'm going to teach you everything. Yeah, no, I'm excited. <laughs> KB? The smokes take Miami. Um, I could make more money getting fucked. <laughs> <laughs> than getting scammed? <laughs> I mean, mm, that ass, that, you'd be an out, outstanding bow. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Anatomically, yeah. I'd be in a good position. <laughs> Anatom- Is your asshole hairy? Yes. You'd yeah, have I don't know what they're... I don't, maybe I don't, I I don't think, know if they mind that too much. I think it depends on the the group, I think. If that makes you sense. You kind of have to think of it like a pussy, right? Like, I'd rather it be clean, waxed, shaved than they're, they're, they're trying to fuck a man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That hair. Yeah, but if you're the that bottom hair guy, hair you're, kind of, you're, song. you're kind of like the feminine in that sense. <laughs> well, yeah. it depends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, all right. Well, that's going to uh, the scamming is going to win. Next, we have the number one seed versus the 16 seed Che in game. That's the playing game for uh, the newbies. Playing game we'll do first. Uh, first one from Clemmer being on Survivor. Like yes. you guys just talked about. Yeah. I thought he'd be great at being on Survivor. Uh, another Clemmer one being a trial lawyer. Yeah. I think I'd be good at that. Maybe. Uh, being the last person on Earth. Yeah, I'd be really good at that. And I, I think it's all that's about, a bold claim. Yeah, what? How? Well, we, we, you talked about your DVDs or whatever. Exactly. You ha- you build an entire. I think the key is keeping yourself occupied, just like being homeless. So like, you have a, a entire TV schedule, and you use old DVDs, physical media, to build your TV schedule, so you can like you know you have something to look forward to every day. That's the key. Mm-hmm. So it's just about moving forward. Being a late night talk show host. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd be pretty good at it. Like, the, I don't mind these suggestions, but it, I'm off put by them because I know Clemmer submitted them. <laughs> so it's like in my head, I'm like, oh, I I'm like this, but but it's like, yeah. but it's like, why would that? We're thinking that of ourselves, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So if you'd I say, be, I think you'd be a good late night talk show host too. Yeah, you would not. I think I would be very good. <laughs> why would I not be? No, you'd probably be fine. Yeah. Uh, anal sex. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did somebody submit taking that? or yeah. or giving? Giving. Who submitted that? I, I'm not at liberty it, to say. Already, oh, I guess. Uh, what do you mean you're not at liberty? No, this one is from Twitter. It was just uh, wasn't from an actual uh, person. Uh, uh, noodling for catfish with your bare hands. Uh, you ever no. see people do that? They shove their hand down yeah, in the water and they come up with the whole ass catfish on their arm. Yeah, I'd be oh, I don't, I don't. Yeah. Some I'm people terrible. here did that, I believe, with Megan or not Megan making money. Um, Sydney. Uh, yeah, I think so. Some yeah, yeah. Did it. Uh, One of the blonde girls. Way to get our girls confused. Stan, <laughs> st- this is a great, uh, the most red pill episode that we've done yet. My God, uh, standing backflip was the last one. Uh, someone thought they could do a really good standing backflip. I don't think anyone here could. No, no. Uh, so run through the options here real quick. Um, being on Survivor, being a trial lawyer, being the last person on Earth, being a late night talk show host, anal sex, giving, uh, noodling for catfish, or standing backflip. Uh, Tommy, what do you want to go in against the one seed? I mean, it's tough. It's like being on, like so many of the, so much of the stuff you guys dream about, I just do already. You know, <laughs> like uh, I've already won Survivor. <laughs> uh, so I guess of those, I'll choose. You've never been on Survivor, Survivor. Whatever. I guess I'll choose. No, I'll stay true to myself. I'll choose that. I'll choose Survivor. Survivor. Clamor. Yeah, I'll choose being a late night talk show. This has been a dream of mine since I was three. I've always wanted to do it. I think I, I think I'd be pretty good at it. Mm-hmm. You to late night talk show? Uh, yeah, probably. Late night talk show host. Yeah, I I don't think I'd be great at Survivor to be honest. Yeah, fair. Uh, Mook. Yeah, I think all the other options are like I'm just incapable of even doing. So I'm gonna go <laughs> late late night, which even I'm probably incapable of doing that. But I'd have the best shot. I mean, to, to be Conan. fair, you do have a great role model to look up Conan. to. Conan. Yeah. Uh, Nikki. I think I'm so dumb that I'd find my way to the final three in Survivor. So I'll go with that. Survivor, it's three to two in favor of the late night talk show host KB. You submitted the backflip, didn't you? Uh, no, I didn't submit anything, but I I've done a backflip, so that that <laughs> the yeah backflip. So being a late night talk show host is going. I win. couldn't do any of the others. Uh, that's going up against the number one seed. Uh, being the GM of a team, a sports team. Uh, mm, and that's a great pick. One person expanded, made it, uh, or uh, I guess more specified, and they said uh, an expansion baseball team. Uh, okay, won't say who said that. One wonder who put that in. Uh, <laughs> but being the GM of a sports team, I think a lot of people thought about, it, especially just because of Madden and franchise modes of yeah. all across different sports teams. And it's like, wow, if I could fix it, why can't my GM do it? Even though it's infinitely more complicated, uh, they can't just do fine trade press y or whatever uh but yeah so start with you kb which one do you want i might be i might be delusional but i think that if i was the gm my i could make it so my team wasn't the worst in the league Mm -hmm. based on what i know so one for the gm nikki i'm gonna go with gm too um 
I don't know. I just feel like I belong there, calling the shots, bring the Dolphins their first Super Bowl. I could do it. Great. I feel yeah, like it'd be it'd bad to be the GM of a team you actually like, though. Is that? No, it would make oh, it better. Be you think so? But what happens fun, if you right? if you just lose? Oh, it'd be your, awful. Everyone hates. I mean, yeah. but that doesn't matter. Like as for the Dolphins, like we haven't been good in twenty five fucking years. So if I went in there and I fucked it up, it would like, change nothing. If you're a team with no expectations. Yeah, you get to be the true. hero. Great point, uh, Mook. Uh, I'm decent at being a clown, so I'll take. Uh, no, I don't, you're not. You can't. Okay, <laughs> fuck. Uh, I can't be a clown GM, so I'll be a clown late night host. Late night host. There Jack you Mayo. go. Yeah, GM. I'd figure it out. I'd I, you'd be uh, the one to figure it out. Yeah, I think. I think I got some good ideas. Three to one in favor of the GM, Clemmer. I spend four nights a week at least doing fake expansion drafts with uh, in various computer games where I'm constantly trying to build a team from scratch. I think I am better than almost anyone in the world at this. I, I, th- <laughs> I would be exceptional at, at, at being an expansion baseball GM. I don't, I, I, I don't, I, I honestly, I think there's like maybe, you know, maybe 100 people in the whole world that could be better at it than me. Than what? <laughs> I feel like if that was the case, then you'd be at, at least somewhere in that field. I think you'd be a, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know if this is a compliment or an insult. I think you'd be a better late night show host than you'd be a GM. I think you'd be an awful GM. I think you'd be an okay late night host. You would make some moves as a GM. I think I could see the movie playing out in my head. Yeah. It's like you win the lottery, you own a team, yeah. you make yourself the GM, yeah. and then you literally get like removed from wherever uh, <laughs> Montreal. Like you're not allowed in Canada. You. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then the team's like 40 and 120. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, it would be like you know, like when your bets start losing. Be a good year. It would be like when your your bets start losing. You're just like, sorry guys, I'm not ahead of that time. <laughs> like, <laughs> when like your draft pick gets arrested the next night. No, I would be great at being expansion baseball. I I know I would. Tommy, I actually think the intersection of these two things, wanting to be a GM and wanting to be a late night host, is a barstool employee. Like I feel like <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Most barstool yeah. employees, myself included, at one point have dreamed about both being a GM and being a late night TV yeah. show host, and you end up at barstool. <laughs> so this is a hard. Choice. You end up right here. You end yeah. up right here yeah. debating yeah. which one you'd be better at. Yeah, uh, I'll go with, I'll go with, GM. It doesn't matter. GM won already, so I'll, yeah. I'll go with GM. The bracket is brought to you by BetterHelp. Look. It's the holidays. It sucks sometimes. You got a lot of stress, whether you know it's financial, having to see a lot of family. A lot of stuff come down comes down on you. And the holidays are a great time to maybe, you know, boot up some therapy. So whether it's starting therapy, going easy on yourself during the tough moments, or treating yourself to a day of complete rest, remember to give yourself some love this holiday season. Uh, again, I use BetterHelp. Uh, I tell every BetterHelp ad I always reference it. I use it over the course of COVID because I couldn't see my regular uh, therapist in person, and they allow you to do it remote or over the phone, wherever you want to do. Uh, and it was awesome, uh, super convenient, very flexible, nice and easy. Uh, so if you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Just fill out a brief questionnaire and get matched with a licensed therapist and switch therapists at any time for no additional charge. Again, no additional charge, which is awesome. Uh, so in the season of giving, give yourself what you need with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash lights today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash lights for the 10% off your first month. Jam's going to win. Other side of the bracket. First up, we have the six versus the 11. The six seed is porn star, male porn star. Uh <laughs> Who who the hell's gay in here? Oh, I guess that could be no, straight. That no. could be straight. Oh my god! <laughs> like the one straight thing. <laughs> so singular straightest out thing, and you you just assumed it was gay, huh? That right. was very what's interesting. Oh my god! What's it up against? Jack Mac just threw up. <laughs> Tommy's search history is very disturbing. Oh my god! No, not disturbing. It would be okay if it was. Oh, that's yeah, fine. No, I imagine yeah, his, yeah, his yeah. in particular is very is disturbing. Is gay porn disturbing? No, I think yours is disturbing. Your, how your mind works is Because it's men? Yeah, I guess so, Clemmer. Uh, dre- no! <laughs> it's going up against dressing well. <laughs> that, that, turn this on me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dressing well, a thing you think you could do well, <laughs> just you can never do. Uh, Tommy Smokes. I mean, I, this, this is a hard matchup. Yeah, yeah. this is so hard. It's tough. I, I mean, I feel like if you wanted to dress well, you just could. Like, that's not something where you have to be like, God, I wish I could dress well. Like, that's something you could, just could do. You'd be surprised. <laughs> do you try to dress up, Mook? No. Okay. I mean, but I definitely could not be a porn star. I mean, right. I guess I could be you like... You could just do the, the same thing. You the could just pool buy- boy who gets, like, walks in. Like, something like that. 
you, you got to like, think 30 for 30. Yeah. Like, if you're yeah. a great porn star, you That's could be true. up there easily. Like, I could be the, the boy fucking a stepmom in uh, a porn. I will say that the access is way easier <laughs> now. You literally just start jerking off on camera and put on OnlyFans. You're now a porn star in, a, in its own sort of thing. I guess way. dressing well. I mean, if I really wanted to, fucking I'll read a magazine or some shit about it. Or last Feidelberg. So I'll go, uh, I'll go dressing well. Dressing well. Nobody wants to see me fuck. Clemmer? Yeah, I mean, I was, I had to take the sweatshirt off, and I was walking around with this yellow shirt earlier. <laughs> I thought, I said, wait, people, wait, pull that up, pull yeah, that take up. It off, oh, take yeah, take it off. Fine. And people were laughing at me in the office. I thought Clemmer, I saw Clemmer, I was like, oh, haha, like, what are you dressed for? Like, what sketch are you shooting? You look like Woody. Cowboy like a from Woody. Woody. From Blue's Clues. I mean, Clemmer could be the next alien, bro. Dude, you you legit look like Woody from Toy Story. That's what I was for Halloween, so it works out. Like you, is it the shirt you wore? No, a different shirt, but same kind. Oh, you, kind of, you also kind of look like like a notepad. Like, yeah. <laughs> this is an unbelievable thing. Like so I, I know I can't dress well, apparently, because people, people are laughing at you. That's a problem. Plus, maybe there's some weird niche of like people who like really skinny guys, so maybe there's like some weird like you know uh, category on Pornhub for that or something. I don't know. So I think I'd probably be a better porn star just because I'm weird looking. <laughs> They're actually, that's a that's a fair point. Yeah. There's definitely a niche for it. I'm, uh, cool. Jack like, I'm gonna like put my Alan. sweatshirt back on. Toy Story, yeah, you could do a Toy Story porn. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I could see Clemmer being ranked like 200th on Pornhub. <laughs> you're like Clemmer, like, Clemmer you're on, like, on the bus this? would do numbers. Oh yeah, Clemmer with that little weird alien kid. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, am I up? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I would just be an awful porn star, and no one like Tommy. I just wouldn't. But no, I, I'd be bad. Mm. No one wants to watch me fuck. That's just not something I'm great at. It's just like it is what it <laughs> is. It's just like, like I, I get the job done and then that's that. But uh, dress well. A, that was the saddest post game press conference yeah. I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. but no one wants to watch me fuck. Uh, the, <laughs> just get it done and that's that. The. Dressing well. Dressing well. I feel like every year people say to themselves, this is the year I'm going to really get it together and dress well. But you see, that always entails, and then you buy one thing. Yeah. And then the days you don't wear that one thing, you look like dog shit. Yeah. So (laughs) it's. Yeah. 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 So, but I think I'd be better at dressing well than the porn star aspect, Mm -hmm. 100%. Mook? This is an interesting one for me because, one, I've given up on dressing well. I've tried. It doesn't work. (laughs) Um, I'm a sweatpants guy. I'm a slob guy. But here's the the interesting part. Have you ever seen a ginger porn star? Male? Male no. ginger porn star. You could be like the Jackie wow. Robinson. Of yeah, not. You break the color barrier. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> a- I would fucking crush it, I think. You talk about yeah. Talk about niche. Yeah, like that's a that's a porn stars. Yeah, that's, that's a niche that. right there. We won't there. play with. Yeah, them. we won't play. With <laughs> <laughs> you need a Pee Wee no, Reese equivalent. Yeah. They put you in the back of the bang bus. <laughs> and look, I wouldn't be good at fucking, but I'd be something to look at. Yeah, you know what I mean. They'd be like, I'm enamored by whatever the fuck's going on here. I think I I think I'd have a moment of virality. Hundred percent. I was a porn star, so I'm going porn star. Porn star, Nikki. I'm going to go with porn star, too. I mean, I think I would just lay the absolute wood on all these girls. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just I love I love the way they sound. I, I know they're faking it, but I, I need that in my life, so sign me the fuck up. It's just the ASMR of actual porn, not the actual porn. He gets itself. off sets. So you weren't acting there, right? <laughs> <laughs> like you, <were> like, <laughs> you, you love the way they sound? Wow, I made you yeah. come ten times. I was like, damn, I really made you come ten times? Yeah, baby, you yeah. did. Yeah, I I mean I gotta get those numbers up anyway, so I need the reps. Go K- on, porn star. KB. Neither, but I guess dressing well with a stylist, porn with meth. So dressing well, porn with meth. I would need meth because it it makes you really hard and horny. It's Does called it? Viagra, brother. Ma- Viagra. Uh, it's it's, it's no secret that a no lot Viagra. of the porn industry is on meth. Wait, really? A lot of drugs oh, involved. I knew doing that. I knew so that. Meth is like that's the sex drug. Uh, I didn't meth? Know that. Meth? Hmm. Doesn't yeah. meth like make you relax? Go to no, R slash meth. Jury, they it? they will fuck or jack off for ten hours wow. in absolute <laughs> bliss. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> I gotta go on those Reddit. Only KV. I love them. Uh, three to three. A lot of people. Three to three. I gotta go dressing well. There's no there's no chance yeah, I'll ever make it's, a porn star. It's just gotta be. There's a chance. There's fuck. There, that was. That was my moment for you guys to convince me to do porn. <laughs> you guys blew it. You got the stash down. 
I think you'd you, be dangerous. No, nah, you couldn't. Um, number three versus the fourteen. Three seed is owning a bar, uh, being a yeah. bar owner. Yes. Uh, mm. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. yeah, setting up your own place. Getting Sip a lot that of drink, Jack Mac. Yeah, uh, and that's going up against number fourteen seed NASCAR driver. A lot of people do oh. think this. Yeah. A lot of people do think this. Uh, start with you, KB. Oh my god, I would fail so miserably at NASCAR. I would hate to own a bar, but I'll have to go with that. Why would you hate to own a bar? The work. Well, <laughs> you're the own. Well, yeah, I guess. But like, you delegate, don't you? Like, to make. I would have no desire to have like, oh, that's my I, like to socialize with the staff. To you're the owner. You my, have to socialize. Uh, KB's okay. draft house. You, you gotta be there. Uh, a I'm lot, going though. with own. I'm going going with own a bar. I like KB's draft house. I would go there. Nikki? I'm um, definitely going with owning a bar. I mean, I've worked at bars, so I know what the owners have to do. I mean, you could drink your own supply. You could dump sack. No one bothers you. Um, you got woman in your establishment 24-7. You got what woman. Dump sack? <laughs> what you That's yeah, like you just go do blow in yeah. your room and oh, you don't oh, say oh, shit. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm going with... I'm going, I can see yeah. you. I thought it was yeah. a sex thing. I always I, thought dump sack men have sex. I thought no. a tea bag. I know. No, dump sack no, but you can is, do that, too. You can do yeah. that, too. You can do that. Yeah, no. Time. Owning the bar, 100%. You would be a good, like, college town bar owner. Oh, yeah. 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 As, like, a 35-year-old. And those things rake. Yeah. They make a lot of money. You lit in all the underage Great. kids. Did yep. he make you fuck oh, yeah. last night? <laughs> <laughs> you sick fuck. Uh, Mook. It's bar owner versus what again? Uh, NASCAR, NASCAR driver. NASCAR driver. That's whoever submitted that. Is Who thinks Great. they could be good at NASCAR driving? Uh, yeah, I, I, this is an awful one. This is whoever oh, submitted this I, is just like. Wait. You don't th you think NASCAR driving is a bad submission? Yeah, I think a lot I think it would be so difficult for like yeah, a regular. You guys have a lot of respect. You guys have a lot of respect for NASCAR drivers. Then I do. It's like the yeah. classic old guy being like, "Oh, they're just driving around in a circle." Yeah, they're going pretty fast. Well, they're all like bunched together. It looks really hard. I think I'm that like, almost goes. So, I don't even drive on fucking highways. There's no way I could be a NASCAR driver. Yeah, yeah I, I don't. I don't drive. Period. Uh, and it's actually a dream of mine to own a bar. So I'm going bar for uh, sure. I would like love that. to. What would you call it? Mooks. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just a little Irish pub. a good bar name. That's Perfect. a great name. Yeah. Uh, Jack Mac? Yeah, bar owners. Amazing. You can, if you, if you play your cards right, you can, you can run the world as a bar owner. Mm -hmm. Especially in a big city or college, college town. Uh, Nikki's right. I mean, if you have the bar in a college town, you make bank. And bank. so... And then you open up a, a bunch of other ones that seem like they're competitors, but it's all owned by the same guy. You control the market. Yeah. You're just so, loaded. You're just loaded. You don't even have to go. You have like, you, college kids can run. Still it. remember my college one, Cannons. Uh, anyway, I mean, it's college in Manhattan, but like it is, it was Cannons. Yeah, well, I mean, we remember ours. Yeah. yeah, I think we all do. Right? I think ever, it's not a brag that you remember your college. Well, no, but I'm just saying like it's, there's a lot of memories <laughs> to the place. But the college, uh, a bar, I think it, it would be good. You get, you get in with some connected people. I want yeah. my bar to yeah. be like, and then there's nothing better than having access to the back room in the bar, like Nikki mm. said. Thank you. Oh, yeah. like that. I never had like, dump a dump sack. Like that. Yeah. <laughs> there was, like the private room in Peaky Blinders. You ever watch that? They have, like, yeah. Yes. Oh, that place looks. I wanted that so bad. Even the the private room in the Sopranos when uh, yeah. Adriana opens yep. up a bar. Yeah. yeah. And like that yeah. place is awesome. Yeah. And then obviously the the back room of the Bada Bing, but that's yep. a strip club. Yeah. Uh, Clemmer? Yeah, I've always. I, I wanted to open a bar. I even, like, kind of looked into it a little bit, like, how much liquor licenses would cost in New Hampshire and stuff. But, like, the idea of, like, you have to be there. Like, bars go out of business so, so much, so, you, so fast. So you have to pretty much be there the first year, like, 24-7. And, like, dealing with drunk people all day, like, I don't want to do that. And I was going to call it the baseball bar. It's going to have all the games on. But then I'm thinking, well, what do I do in the off season? That's yeah, not a very yeah. good idea for a bar. So, <laughs> shut down. And who wants to go to a bar and watch the baseball? Baseball, baseball fans for about five, six hours. <laughs> I, I think I give you two and a half weeks. I was the baseball bar. He's gonna make Miami. He's gonna make the girl um uh the girl bartenders wear like umpire outfits. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It would be like that kind of bar. It would be like it would be like a a nicer a nice bar. You know, you're not gonna have all that nonsense. High end baseball. That's kind of how I saw it. And you have to know Pedro Martinez. Yeah. is as a, like ERA yeah, yeah, yeah. in nineteen ninety three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I, I but it's like uh, so, but it's a but it's a lot of work. There's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of inventory. You have to staff. Staff gets drops in and out. It seems like a complete headache. So I would choose that over NASCAR because NASCAR looks really hard. But I would not be a good bar owner. 
Mm. Like, I like the idea of like a special brain analytic baseball speakeasy, where it's just like you yeah. two in it, and like there's no one else that can get in. No one yeah, else yeah. I don't want to fucking be in that with Clemmer. <laughs> uh, Tommy. Uh, yeah, I, I legitimately don't think I would do a lap at NASCAR without dying, so I'm going to go with the bar owner. Owning the bar, it's going to win. Uh, next up. Who we- submitted NASCAR? I did. Yeah. That's why you were defensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was odd when I was defensive. I would say people. Too- yeah, that was pretty odd. To, to Jack Mack's credit, like a lot of people do think that they do yeah, think no, they could be fair. a NASCAR driver. I do not. Yeah, I, I think most of us are reasonable enough that we don't. But still, yeah, we have respect for NASCAR. Yeah, yeah. Uh, shout out Rubin is racing. Yeah, yeah. and Noah Gregson. Yeah, yeah, he's back. He's back. He's yeah. back. Yeah, he beat. He, he, yeah, uh, seven versus the ten seed. The seven seed is drug dealing. Uh, drug dealing. One person here thinks they could be a really good drug dealer. Not gonna say who. <laughs> Mickey. Uh, <laughs> not gonna, I didn't say any. No, I'm not saying who. Uh, and that's versus the ten seed doing a gainer. Uh, one What's person, a gainer? Oh, that's a frontward backflip. Frontward backflip. <laughs> a frontward backflip? <laughs> what? <Yeah>. What? <laughs> Why is everything backflips and like porn? <laughs> yeah, every, a weird. <laughs> everything's here like yeah. backflips versus porn bracket. Yes, it's, a gainer's insane. <laughs> yeah. This is a frontward backflip. It you. I can't just, even die. I don't. I don't understand that. Like you're <laughs> facing forward, you run up and do a backflip. Like you're running this okay, way. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. Your legs go out. Why, got why, it. Everything I'd be good at that. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know what we're talking about? You've definitely seen someone do it. I've seen it. Yeah. Is this like what Tyree Kill does sometimes? Yeah, maybe. This seems incredible. It's something that white yes, people Tommy. cannot do. No, you've except seen... in pools. No, it's white people can do that. Yeah. Off no. of like cliffs and uh, diving boards. Okay. Yeah. You I can't even it. dive normal. Uh, I'm trying to find like a good gift first. So I'll put something in it in a post. Um, but a gainer flip versus drug dealing. <sighs> I'm abstaining. I, ca- I, 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 mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I, it would have to be drug dealing because the other thing I cannot do. Yeah. Like, I, I can't do it. Drug, I could sell a drug. I guess not I do a gainer. I, okay, I was, let's, let's be clear. The, I, in my mind, at least when this came in, I'm not thinking you're just doing a standing gainer. I'm thinking you're jumping off, like, a, um, a diving board and doing one. What did you think like, filling out this who bracket? Who thinks they would be good at this? Some people but they're like. Do. Well, that's one of those things you either can do it or you can't. It's not like yeah. you're really good or really bad. But some yeah. people don't think or think is... they'd be good at it if they tried it and they just don't I think with it. Tra- extensive training, we all could eventually do a gainer. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I think I'd be sick at flipping if I practiced. <laughs> that's a crazy <laughs> thought. Yeah. Is anyone bad at doing gainers, but they can still do it? Probably like a gymnast. Well... Think about a guy being like, yeah, I could try to do a gainer, and then he goes and does, and he can't even come close. Like, people can try yeah. and fail. This is, like, the whole thing with the, with the I guess, the idea of the bracket. Uh, Tommy. I hate this. <laughs> this is this is the, this is, yeah. You I can guess abst- drug dealing. Drug dealing? I guess. It'll help your rap game if you still yeah, go. It'll help a lot. Yeah, I, it ha- I would not be good at drug dealing, I would. I, I physically cannot do whatever the hell a gainer is. I'm an out-of-proportion 44-year-old man. Like, I have no chance at ever doing a gainer. Like, it's going to have to be drug dealing here. Drug dealing? Out-of-proportion is such a funny way to describe yourself. <laughs> Small <laughs> legs. I, it's like, oh, <laughs> out fuck, of I'm, I'm, I'm happy I can walk around. Uh, Jack, Mac. Yeah, drug dealing. You know. Drug dealing? You just get, uh, you get the bitches. I, uh, you do get the bitches. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> when if drug dealers like they they fuck, they do fuck. And oh, uh, they, they fuck where they're just horrendously autistic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, sometimes you both. could be both. You could be yeah. both. Yeah, but I would. I also, yeah. I, I was I, a drug dealer. <laughs> I think I'd be a good drug dealer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mook was a drug dealer. I was a drug dealer my freshman year of college, and I didn't fuck. <laughs> and I wasn't. I wasn't horrendously. Thick, but I was so on the spectrum for sure. What but, did you sell? Yeah, what are you talking about? Every week in college, I would get an ounce of weed. And it would get fronted oh, to shit. me. I would sell like a little bit less than half to like break even and then smoke for free. But every time I would just get drunk and like anyone that picked up for me, I would just like smoke them up or like give them oh free weed God. or like give them 1.5 so like i was a, a drug terrible you were you're a drug like, dealer to make friends your friends yeah exactly <laughs> yeah. there was no and deals made it was dude it, was, it got to a point where like we would go back to my apartment like late at night and like my clients would just like open my jar of weed and be like all right we're getting fucking ripped right now <laughs> um 
and my nickname became Orange the Drug Dealer at one point. <laughs> Orange the drug dealer? Orange the drug There was a Snapchat that went around campus. It was like me working out at the gym, and it was like Orange the drug dealer works out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's unreal. I'd pay to see that picture. Yeah, I, I might have it somewhere. I actually. Oh, so you were like. A known drug dealer. Yes. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Where did Just because sp- everyone was like, dude, he like sm- he, we don't pay for weed. He smokes his <laughs> <laughs> We're Or- robbing this Orange guy. Orange the drug giver. <laughs> yeah. <they learn. laughs> yeah. Where did yeah. you go to school? Though? My freshman year, I went to Penn State. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this guy's just smoking out like mm-hmm. the entire football team to make yeah. friends. <laughs> no one, and no one was fucking you. It's not a bad way. Hey. No, I wasn't getting fucked. Man. Wasn't making money. Um... You yeah. weren't really even a drug dealer either. Yeah. I was just getting high so, and ended up having to pay for my weed every week. So. It's not a bad way to get some friends in college. Yeah. Honestly, if yeah. you're a freshman. I don't mind that at all, Mook. It yeah. was fun. I think that's a good move. Mm-hmm. It was fun, but uh, it was like a complete joke of an operation. Mm-hmm. Uh, Nikki. Yeah. I mean, I'm obviously going drug dealer. Um, love the environment. Love what comes with it. <laughs> love the girls that pull up at 2 a.m. that need whatever they need. I love. Uh, have you done it? Up. Have you tried it? Yeah, I've I've sold drugs in college. I feel like everyone goes through a drug selling phase. <laughs> <laughs> they don't. Maybe in Florida, it's probably just uh-huh. the South Florida I thing. Florida, yeah. Yeah, in yeah. Florida, we all do. I mean, I never sold coke, but mm. that's like a different I, level. I, I would like to. That's that's a boy to can dream. <laughs> yeah, one day. Boy can dream. Uh, I would candy. like to sell coke. <laughs> <laughs> you make bread, bro. Yeah. 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 I guess. I guess drug dealing. Drug dealing. Uh, it's going to move on. Next up, we have uh, kicking a field goal. Uh, field goal kicking. I think that's we can add easy. punting probably onto here, too. I feel like that's like among the same thing. Um, and that's going up against being a teacher. Oh, oh my God. Being, that's tough. Being a te- or Maybe this person wants to clarify teaching things, but it, they did say just say p- being a teacher. So. Uh, Speak up. Field goals versus teaching. Uh, start with the UKB. I would have to be teaching. I don't think I could ever get a field goal. You don't think so? I feel like you have like good lower body strength. No, like, oh. no, not in like a actual game. And you were a teacher to a degree, so kind of, yeah. yeah. So I guess that makes sense, Nikki. Um, that's tough because I mean I could bang field goals all day, <laughs> but I also wanted to be a teacher. Um, fuck, that's tough. I'll go teaching. Teacher. I think I, I think I'd be a pretty good teacher. Teacher? PE teacher, yeah, teacher. Mook? Yeah, I was an accounting TA in college. After, oh, yeah. After my drug dealing days, so, uh, <laughs> teacher. I wouldn't trust you. Still just to trying excel. to make friends in the class. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, don't look at your, your balance sheet or anything like that. As long as you have friends, that's all. It's all income that matters. <laughs> yeah, here's the answer key. <laughs> Whatever you want. Uh, Jack Mack. Yeah, teaching, I mean. You're it's basically just, a teacher already on TikTok. Yeah, it's like just, you, you teach me something new every day. Uh, yeah, thank you. But I just, I mean, teaching, I, I'm long outspoken against teaching and whatnot, just how it's kind of a, like, you can call it a profession, but is it? It's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, You're so I mean, Sigma, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Full red like, I'm just, uh, you know, you get three months off a year. Uh, Clemmer? I don't think I'd be a very good teacher. Like, I don't have a lot of, like, pay, like the, the kids would just be annoying. Like, but, like maybe the first week it's funny, haha. But, I, like, the fourth month of doing it, you're probably like, fuck this. I hate all these kids so much. But I would be better than the alternative. So, uh, kicking a field goal? Yeah, like, I've kicked a field goal before. Like, uh, and I barely got it in, like, from, like, 15, 20 yards out, if it was even that much. It was, like, at one of those fan fest things. But there was no, like, defensive line. Like, we well, you know that's a whole different animal. And it's also We're going like, to have to have you do a competition yeah. against somebody in the office. Sorry. You're back. Mm-hmm. I would you lose. Take, yeah. I'm saying I'm bad at it. Yeah, but I want to see how bad. Yeah, me too. So it's the a, it's outfit a you wore to work, you kind of look like a math teacher. Yeah. yeah that's true. And I do, the, I do the NYC facts. Maybe I could teach history. You would be a good yeah. history teacher. Yeah, you would be because you have passion. Like, kids would actually respond to that. Respond yeah. to yeah. that. You'd be the cool teacher. I got the weird skinny guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Probably more of that. But I, I, so yeah, if I could teach history to like, you know, high school kids, then that's what I would want to do. Yeah, AP. You would be the AP yeah, teacher, as long yeah. as it, like, as long as it wasn't like third grade or like. I would love to see 
I would love to see you in like an inner city school. Oh my god! Oh my god! But I, I would always just be me. Like I, <laughs> they would actually tear you apart. They Maybe they would. Yeah. I would probably go one of two ways. Either they would like respect me for like yeah. not. Hell no. Or they, or they would yeah, like. This isn't Hollywood. Or, they walk in that classroom, see you. They, they see they fresh. Call, they'll meat. call you Mister Cracker. Yeah. Like you're oh, not yeah. escaping. Yeah. This. But, I, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But I wouldn't. I'd be like, ah, you're probably right. Yeah. Clever right. gets the pass. <laughs> <laughs> he shows up one day. He's like, I let yeah. the kids braid my hair, honey. <laughs> 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 but they're letting me say it now. <laughs> they gave me the pass. Plumber yeah. comes home it's and he's like, like on, on God, I had a rough day. <laughs> <laughs> I was boofing. Oh my God, honey. Uh, standing on business after lunch. Tommy. <laughs> I think, I mean, being like a kindergarten and first grade teacher, I think would be almost as hard as kicking a field goal. Like, I don't want to deal oh. with 20 kids all day. But uh, yeah, if we're talking older kids, that's not that hard. So I'll go teacher. Teacher. Uh, teacher's going to move on. Clean sweep first of the day. All right, let's talk about Rocket Money. Do you have any subscriptions that you forget about or maybe you're paying twice for and you don't even realize it? Well, Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. With Rocket Money, you can easily cancel the ones you don't want with just the press of the button. No more long hold times or annoying emails to customer service. Rocket Money does all the work for you. Trust me, that is a lifesaver. I cannot tell you how many times I've had to be on the phone because like, they basically build a maze for you to try and navigate in order to get to the unsubscribe for almost every service you use. I mean, God forbid it was a gym. Uh, Rocket Money can even negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%, and all you have to do is take a picture of your bill, and Rocket Money take care, takes care of the rest. They also let you monitor all your expenses in one place, and they recommend custom budgets based on your past spending, and they even send you notifications if you've exceeded your spending limits or reached them. Uh, with over 5 million users and counting, Rocket Money has helped save its customers an average of $720 a year and $1 billion in total savings so far. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted, unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash lights. That's rocketmoney.com slash lights. Rocketmoney.com slash lights. All right, playoff time. First matchup, um, giving head to a man versus being homeless. <laughs> they kind of go hand in the hand. The same matchup as last time. Okay, it's still a little bit different. Uh, Tommy. <laughs> I guess giving head to a man. I, again, I don't. I don't want to. I just know that no I, one's no one accused you. I of know what to. I like when and when a girl's going down. You like me, what? I'm like God. I wish she was just doing this. Like I, I don't think it's, like gay guys probably give the best that. I don't think it's probably that crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, being right. homeless would. I mean, and if the if the option is would I rather suck a dick or be homeless, I'd probably rather suck a dick. Mm-hmm. That's not, the, not totally I know that's what we're not going Two with, different things, yeah. though, because I, I would agree with that. Well, be better I understand at. that's not yeah. the debate. I'm just saying. I'm just putting You just wanted out. to tell us you I'm suck dick. I'm just putting yeah. that out there. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, I do think I'd be better. I think I'd be... Like, if I wanted to suck dick, if there was a desire for me to suck dick, I think I'd be mighty fine at it. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I think I think I would I think I would do pretty well at being homeless. But, like, like I said, I can keep myself occupied. I go to a warm weather climate because I don't like getting cold. But I don't really get that hot. I think I would do okay. You think we'd be an okay at homeless? Go to the beach a lot. The library. The li- like the library in the winter, the beach, you know, in the summer. You need like passes to get to beaches now. You like, don't you just free beaches. There are there are free things. You gotta unlock your mind a little bit, my friend. Do you need like town passes, man? You don't you, you know, can go to Rock you can go to Coney Island, you can go to Rockaway is free. That's just in New York. If you go to like Maine or New England, those those beaches are all free. No, man. You only got to pay for you is just parking. Said you want warm climate, you're going to Maine. I don't so. have to worry about parking because I don't have a car because I'm homeless. So there's a lot. Oh. You have to worry about walking 50 miles to get there, my brother. That's, that's no good. Everything about that's no good. I'm going to be a homeless person in San Diego. There's beaches there that I can go right there. I, I've already thought about this. Uh, go to baseball <laughs> games and save up enough change and get bleacher tickets for oh a game. Oh my God. If you <laughs> were homeless you and you head. spent money on the fucking baseball game. Of course game? I would. Jesus. Can you. <laughs> Of course, I just wouldn't eat at the games because that's too expensive, but I would go and I'd save up my pennies and stuff and I'd go to get a bleacher, the cheapest seat. Why wouldn't I? I have all day. Because you're, you're, yeah. <laughs> you're hungry. Shelter. You, if you panhandle for long enough, I, 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 don't, I don't eat a lot, as you can probably tell. So I get a hot dog, I get a soda, all right, boom, outside the ballpark, and then I, I save up 5 $6 and go to a Padres game. That's not a bad, that's not the worst out of these options we're talking about, that's not he's, bad. He's like furious the pitch clock was invented because he's like, I yeah. picked out of these games too early. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Jack Mac. Yeah, being homeless. Uh, I'd find a way. I'd find a way through. And the other options just not viable for me. <laughs> 
Oh, you know what you can do too? Get a movie, go to a matinee, and then never leave the movie theater. Just bounce around from movie that to movie. That makes more sense. I'd there like you go. Another day. If you just think about it long enough, it's you, you would be a good. Homeless. I would be good at this. You would be. We good all have to acknowledge I'd be good. Do a video series where you're homeless. No, that's mean. Because they have real struggles and stuff. And then would be very mean. Give money back to the fucking homeless. No, but that's almost. Remember when Sean Avery used to just go up to homeless people and just like annoy him? That was like his his video series. He was all time villain. All time villain. He would go up to homeless people and record himself pretty much making fun of him. Yeah. Why that's just <laughs> all time just evil human He's a, Sean Avery. Uh, out of control bag. human. Yeah, out of control. Bag, evil, yeah, we're truly out of control. But yeah. kind of a nice guy at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> uh Mook. I think in order to be good at being homeless, you might have to be pretty decent at sucking dick. Mm. Mm. Honestly, but yeah. Potentially just to survive. Yeah. Um but I think I'd be better at being homeless. Again, I think like home, like I've seen some homeless dudes like having a good time. Always having. A like good time. you just keep life simple, you know. You you don't you don't try to do too much, but just like get high, get drunk. I'm not saying it's a great life, but I'm saying you could make the most of it. I feel like we're really down. We how bad Al, absolutely yeah. how <laughs> cruel <laughs> and miserable of an existence <laughs> it is to be it's homeless. Insanely <laughs> bad. <laughs> Very <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. I would be good at it. Not just like <laughs> not to be it. not an you guys it is talking good. about. I would be good yeah, at. Yeah, you're like oh yeah. these I guys would be a just jolly... having a good time, fucking drinking, doing drugs, having fun, <laughs> I got... pissing wherever they want. Yeah, it's like being the in a dream, in an outdoor frat. Dream. Yeah, it's like being in an outdoor frat. They're not. They're not. Gonna hear it, but so, uh, <laughs> like they're not gonna. So I just, I just heard this on my podcast feed. <laughs> Get homeless guy. I, we are downplaying way too much. Uh, Nikki, I mean, I was gonna say homeless, but you guys are right. Like we are downplaying the fuck out of it. Oh yeah. Like you're dirty all the time. You don't have clothes. Your teeth are gross. You don't have bread. You're Either. four for four with my life right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I, I mean, look, like I. I go out, I drink, I do drugs on the weekend all the time. So I guess <laughs> I, I can't I can't I can't even get the words out of my mouth. Damn I guess I would I, I'd be better at giving head. Better than being homeless. Um the same to you, KB. All right, three to three. Yeah. I'll yeah. br- I'll break it in favor of giving head. Um I, I just don't think there's any way I'd be a viable homeless human, and I think over time I could at least be proficient. Like, I homeless for a week would be straight. After that, it'd yeah. be kind of rough. Yo, yeah, Sucking right. dick for a week would not be straight. Yeah. It no. Would not be it'd be opposite. very gay. <laughs> yeah. uh, next matchup, being a GM of a team versus being a scam artist. KB. Same thing if you're Brian Cashman. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Like I feel that like one. as a G- yeah, yeah, as a was, GM, you could. That was for could, an audience of one. <laughs> for, like, Brian Cashman. I liked it, Tom. This is tough. I think as a GM, you could put yourself in a position where you have people telling you what to do, and that's just your title. Mm. I'll go with GM. GM, Nikki. I'm gonna go with scammer. Scammer over GM. You know, I I I love the Dolphins, but I don't really love sports. I feel like I'd get bored after like five months of trying to be a GM. I can't get bored of making money, so I'll be a scammer. Yeah, I feel like you're just getting calls nonstop every second. Yeah. And every second your brain is just dedicated to this one thing, and uh, that will get debilitating over time. Maybe. Move. And and also like your response, like if you scam people, there's only so many people you could scam. If you fuck up a football team, the whole world is just gonna fucking grill you. Mm-hmm. For a while too. Uh, move. Yeah. I'd go. Uh, I'd go GM. I don't really have capacity to like lie and hurt people. Like, I remember even working at a restaurant, like, in high school, like, if someone was like, how do you like the, whatever, chicken parm here, I'd be like, it actually fucking sucks. Like, you should get it somewhere else, not here. Uh, GM. GM. To go off of Nikki's point about how the whole world would know, I mean, Mike Tannenbaum, awful GM. Still fucking on ESPN. bum, I hate that loser. Yeah, he's a loser, right? But he's still on ESPN, so you could find a media job after. True. Mm-hmm. That being said, I'm going to still roll with uh, being a scammer. I think there's so many things you can do. You can always reinvent yourself. I mean, look at these guys on TikTok right now. It's true. Like, you could, it's it's endless. You could just, you, I hear guys talking about reinventing themselves, doing different stuff. If you're a scammer, you can reinvent yourself every year. Unless you get arrested in, in Romania. Yeah, that no is good. true. But 
if you were in America, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you were in America, let's say the the block was hot, mm-hmm. you could go to Romania. You could go to Colombia. You could Colombia probably not so much. They're probably already controlled. But you could go to all across the world, like Thailand. Like you could be on top of the world. Yeah, and yeah. If you get the right people involved in your scam, you're basically untouchable. There's so many scams going on TikTok right now. They're the like TikTok shop. Yeah. Like, there'll be an AI video. This is what I would do. If you're a scammer, here's what you would get. Pay. Here's free game. Yeah. I'm pay an OnlyFans yep. model or OnlyFans girl, really hot girl. She She's to advertise, essentially, I don't know, uh, like something that's a supplement. That's out, utter bullshit. Mm-hmm. But then you put it on TikTok shop. That's just free money. So just be like a drop shipper, but then just have a hot girl help you. Or I would have twenty OnlyFans girls pretend that they're sports betting uh, yeah, analysts, yeah, yeah. and I'd give them all <laughs> like if it's Dolphins minus three, and then it's Jets plus three. I'd say half of you take Dolphins minus three, half of you take Jets plus three, and then eventually one wins. Take yeah. all the money. Ugh. Yo, Jack's a businessman. <laughs> also, sort of a scammer in that sense. Well, that would be scamming. Yeah, yeah, scam. yeah. Yes, <laughs> I do like that. That's a great idea for free one. Any of you scammers out there? Uh, Clemmer. Yeah, this is two things that are, are I've spent my whole life either trying to be or not to be. So when I was in sales, I was always very transparent about the price. I always never wanted to scam anyone because I always felt it bites you in the ass because you might scam somebody once, but then you'll never be able to do business with that person again or they'll talk about how bad you are. So I was always trying so hard to be honest with, with the price. I spent my entire life trying to be an expansion baseball GM. Uh, I mean, and you've made zero progress. Yeah, none. <laughs> none. <laughs> Like literally, there hasn't the, the been, progress bar is zero around, percent. You're walking around New York City what? making. I'm gonna, st- I'm gonna stand by my. I'm gonna stand up for myself. Saying there hasn't been an expansion baseball team since I was 18. I haven't had a chance to ply my trade. Do you think if you applied to the next expansion team, I, they'd be like, okay? They should, if they're hearing this, they should want to <laughs> hire me. I've spent the last uh, four nights a week, every week for the, for the last decade. Would you drop everything to do that? Everything. Yeah, we should. I've already talked to my wife about it. I'm like, if there's an expansion team, we might move anyway. We might just move. To like just national to, to get just a, to, a, a shot. No, just no, no, just no, like, just move, just to go to all the games. <laughs> just give him a shot. Just Plumber, go to all the, the, all the games. What's the visual of you rebuilding an expansion team? Like, Not rebuilding. I, I want to picture. Don't re, this. You don't rebuild. It's brand new. It's you it's built. A, it, you built. So you have no, you but you're just like at your house on the computer, just yeah. picking players. Yeah. So there's uh there's some it. baseball simulators uh, out of the park or um baseball mogul, I and mean, you can have an expansion draft on there. So yeah, so I'm mm-hmm. constantly replicating, constantly trying to build teams. What's the best efficient way? Do you have any friends that do that, like <laughs> online friends? Like no, 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 no. I do everything by my. I no, no, I don't do any online friends. I don't do they like, have like <laughs> chat rooms for that? No, I'm always. Right. Yeah. I'm playing against the computer. Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh, that's boring as fuck. No, it's awesome. Then you don't get any better. There's probably better guys. No, than the you system out there. every year. He, he doesn't I'm think they're the all. AI. I'm going against the AI. Wait, but is there like, <laughs> like playing the crazy. computer in Madden, bro? Yeah, you're playing the computer in Madden. Yeah. Is there like a What's rating? harder than a computer? It's an Android. The computer Everybody Madden lets you no. win sometimes. Yeah. Why would the computer want me to win? Because they want you to keep playing. No, it's not that kind of game. This isn't. This Are, isn't. Is there like a worldwide ranking here? No, like, no, no. I don't, I don't apply a score to you. Oh, I don't. Oh no, there's a score as you can do. But I'll say I don't play the game the wrong way. You know, ways you draft a team and you, and you have the team go for whatever a decade. I'll draft, end it, redraft again, just to try to keep building the uh, ultimate roster. Oh my God, Plumber's man. got all the high scores on the I website. D- There's yeah. probably huge communities on yeah, online yeah of this because it's it's not that crazy of a no, thing. No, right. Yeah, but I do kind of want to download it. Yeah, it is so much. Fun. I even like me thinking about it. And I'm not that big I of a like fan of football, I mean, but they, you could, you should go out and compete against people. Yeah, yeah. I don't like how you play the computer all the time. That's so boring. I'm shocked you're still. You might interested. be like unleashing him on the world. Like he's like the Godzilla of fucking <laughs> bot, like what simulators. If expansion drafts. Yeah. What if deep down Clummer's afraid he's not the best and he doesn't want to go Ooh. test? Ooh. Ooh. Oh no, I would. I would be. I would love because you know only two teams enter the league at once. I would love to have an expansion draft like against somebody else. Mm-hmm. Like you know somebody else is running that'd be right. probably fun. You're like, Chris who has Stapps, a better roster? Chris Stapps Porzingis playing in the gym against a nobody. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we have no idea how good you are in a game. Yeah. It could be the best or the worst, or maybe I really want to find out. Oh, I really hope there's expansion this deck. I'm so excited. Yeah, there's probably a Reddit community that looks at you like Absolutely. a joke. Either, like, or a god. I, we have no idea. Like r slash baseball simulation or something. That definitely yeah. Exists. There's got to be a community climber. Yeah. I'm sure, yeah. I'm, I'm in, yeah. But I only like I said, it's more than just baseball simulator. I'm talking about the expansion. This is like a niche of a niche. Hmm. Now, there's... I don't think you're not that unique. I think there's a lot of oh, people. Oh, I'm sure there are. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Tommy? Uh, GM. 
GM, GM's going to move on. Uh, GM of a baseball team versus uh, giving a man head. Uh, Tommy Smokes. I'm going GM here. I mean, look, again, I think it'd be good. But I think it'd be a good GM. There's a lot of times where it's like, why don't you just fucking go get that guy? Why don't you make that trade? What are you sitting on your ass for, Brian Cashman? How about you look at fucking batting average and RBIs for once? No, don't look at either of those two things. Those things are stupid. Um, So, yeah, GM. I I am forgetting this isn't dream job. (laughs) If this was dream job, this would be... A blowout. Mm-hmm. <laughs> to be clear, <laughs> literally, yeah, hey, yo, literally a blowout. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but still, GM, 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 Clemmer? GM, GM for me, GM, Mook. Suck that dick. What are you thinking? I I'm thinking like I don't know sports as well as you guys, so like maybe I'm better at giving head. But I've also done at 2K franchises where I've simmed 20 years and had. A fucking electric team. Mm-hmm. But here's the thing: I don't think there's like I don't, I don't think there's great GM. Like everybody can be a GM oh. if they were. No, there are there great, are great but like, GMs. No, but Howie there, it's, it's way yeah. easier for one of us for somebody off the street to become a great GM than to become a great player. Obviously. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. that like you, you could become a great like everyone has it within them. Not everybody has it I'll within them gr- to be a great player. Uh, oh. I'd, I'd I'd be better at GM. I have asthma. I don't think I could I could violently suck a dick honestly <gasps> Nikki I'm going with GM GM KB yeah let's let's end the the dick yeah. sucking <laughs> yeah. GM's in the finals on the other side um, owning a bar versus dressing well KB mm. what do you think you'd be better at I think owning a bar is harder mm. than you guys think oh yeah yeah but what would you do better what I do better I think I'd be horrible at owning a bar. I wouldn't care enough, so I'd go dressing. Dressing okay. well, Nikki? Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with a bar. I'm a nightlife type of guy. I kind of know what people want, what they expect when they walk in a bar. I think I'd be a really good bar owner, to be honest. Bar owner? Mook? I feel like you'd be more of a yeah, club owner. I'm, club owner I'm going bar. Oh, yeah. I'm going bar for sure. Mm-hmm. Mooks? Yeah, I'll just go. I'll roll with bar. I just don't ever think I'm going to find myself dressing particularly like oh my god this guy dresses so well it would be sh- i'm trying to think of who i'd be the most shocked if they like came in just dressed the nines like i've no i could have frank no meek frank phil. would be incredible no meek phil would be meek phil, meek phil would be, phil would yeah. be shocked meek, yeah. yeah like imagine like streetwear yeah, yeah. streetwear yeah the like latest <laughs> stuff it would be weird <laughs> that's actually i really want to see that now uh clemmer i don't think it's possible for me to, to dress like really well but i do think i could run a business like uh, maybe moderately okay if i just worked really hard at it so maybe that the baseball bar yeah baseball I, think, bar. I think there's a ceiling on how well i can dress i've tried to gradually dress better but i'm gonna hit this part where it's like tommy who are you trying to be like you can't dress like when i know dave's in the office i don't dress nice because i know he doesn't like that so like there i could only dress so well i think i could <laughs> probably own a bar you could probably do it uh that's gonna win on the other side being a teacher versus being a drug dealer uh tommy smokes <laughs> Um, would you be better at? What would I be better? Uh, being a teacher, I don't think I'd be a very good drug dealer. Mm-hmm. It'd be scary. Being a, yeah, I mean, if I, a high school history teacher, I could do that. Yep. Clemmer, I'm so scared of getting in trouble. Like Mook was telling that story about how the Snapchat was going around calling him Orange, the drug dealer. Like I would be yeah. so scared if someone saw that. Then they're gonna think I'm a drug dealer. I'm gonna get arrested. I just the anxiety and the panic oh, is like, so much for me. So, like, being, like, a history Skeletor, teacher. Skeletor, the drug dealer in the I don't even think the school would have got mad at me. They would have been like, this is so sad. <laughs> 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 you have to start charging Free these mook. people, Connor. <laughs> I was <laughs> literally, like, on a treadmill, and they were like, Orange, the drug dealer, is, like, a person. <laughs> they, <laughs> they present you with a scholarship. <laughs> yeah. They're just so mad. They feel so bad for you. Uh, two for the teacher. Yeah, teacher. Teacher, Mook. Uh, yeah, I've done both, and I was a better teacher, so teacher. <laughs> better teacher, Nikki? Yeah, I'm kind of with Clemmer. The anxiety after a while would start to eat away at me. I, I'll definitely go teacher. Wow. Yeah. You teacher. Hold under pressure. <laughs> Not fold under pressure. I just wouldn't do good in jail. Like, I like going out. I like having yeah. fun. I like fucking women. Mm. Um, teacher. Yeah, that's sick. It is huge. I like, <laughs> I like how much Nikki Smokes openly talks about his drug use. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. I respect it. I'm just, I'm just an open book. I mean, yeah. everyone does it. I just they don't have the balls. There, there are certain it. drugs that you w- I don't think you would admit to doing if you were on them. Well, I mean, I really only do like uppers. And not not, not, every, like, not everyone does them, believe it or not. That's also yeah, well, like people in my circle. Yeah, right. I'm sure that's true. Yeah. Like my type of crowd. Yeah. Right. Yeah. No one's <laughs> arguing that. My uh, type of crowd. 
My type of crowd. Uh, teachers can move on, but KB, I'm assuming you're going. Yeah, I got my sped masters. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. You did. Uh, teacher versus owning a bar, KB, to go into the finals. Mm. Teacher. Teacher. <sighs> Nikki. Fuck, this is tough. I, I got to stick with the bar, though. I've been, I've been riding the bar the whole way. I'm sticking with it. Fuck it. Bar. Mm -hmm. Bar. Mook. I'd be a better teacher because it's easier. Owning a bar is like kind of a nightmare. I agree. Yeah, teacher. This is it's night and day. With a bar, you can. Oh no! With teaching, you can go. Yeah, night and day, literally. Uh, with teaching, you can go home and it's over. Bar, if you own the bar, it's never over. Yeah. It's yeah. always and there's always an issue. There's like you said, staffing, whatnot. It's probably such a headache until you really get it off the ground. Then it becomes kind of a well-oiled machine. Teaching it, you know. Especially but in teaching, you have, like, the, the shit afterwards, like the families, the grades. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, but it depends. Uh, but also, How like, good of a teacher do you want to be? Yeah. Yeah, and right. that's the thing, too. You can be a relatively bad teacher and nothing happens. If you're a bad bar owner, you no longer own oh. a bar. Because exactly. You, you get tenure as a teacher. Yeah, exactly. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah owning a bar could ruin your life. Yeah. Literally, yes. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, yeah. yeah, I have some friends that own bars and restaurants back home, and they said, like, we haven't taken a vacation in, like, three or four years because mm -hmm. they're always set to be there. Norm Macdonald once said about teachers, they have the same exact work schedule as little children. So mm. I think that I'm going to go with teachers. <laughs> no, Norm Macdonald yeah. was spitting when he said yeah. that. <laughs> I'm going to put that in who, my who back pocket. Who do you think pocket. gets arrested for sex crimes more? Ooh, bar owners probably bar owners. Teachers. Oh. teachers. It's a good no. question. Uh, I got to think. Bar I think teachers do it less. That's why it's a bigger deal. Yeah. And everyone uh, like, grows up yeah. wanting to fuck their teacher where... Like Jerry Thornton a bar owner bar rapes owner someone, it's just <laughs> another case. Yeah. He writes teacher blogs on bar stool. He yeah. said, yeah. You think we're going to bring those back? It's a great question. It's a new era. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a new era. Tommy? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think I want like I want to choose bar owner because that's what I'd rather do, but that's not what we're debating here. Yeah. So sanctity of the bracket. Go sanctity of the bracket pick. All right, the finals is being a GM versus being a teacher. What do you think you'd be better at, Tommy Smokes? Being a GM. Being a GM. <laughs> yeah, I think I'd be, I mean... If I was the GM of the Yankees, we would not have a 15-year drought right now. I'll tell you that fucking much. Cap. <laughs> uh, Clever? I hope, you know, the Nashville Stars or the, you know, the future Mon Montreal Expos hear this, but it would be expansion baseball team GM. I would be, be incredible at it. team GM, too? I think the the GM winning is the ultimate, like, it is the ultimate answer here because of the fact that all you guys would be awful at it. Yeah. So bad. You guys could be a good teacher tomorrow. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Like, be great. N no, you would get like just ran through. Like people, they would look at you like I'm not saying that as an insult. I mean, we care about sports very similarly, sure. like, in the same way. And you know way more than I do. But those guys, their whole life, they've been dealing with this stuff. It's really, really difficult. And I think about it every day. It's nonstop teaching. You can just kind of. You watch, know, you watch a video for the class. Yeah, you, like, literally, yeah. you could literally just put on a video. I would just be a pass everyone if you want. Yeah, I'd yeah. be a. Do I get to pick which teacher? Like, could I be a college professor, like adjunct? I think so. Yeah, so I would just kind of be like, all right, here, here you go, guys. It's up to you. And so, teacher, teacher, uh, Mook, but that teacher by the way, that would make you a good yeah. one. Or what would you be better at? What would you be better at, I guess, okay. is the question. He's saying that being a GM is so hard. Still a that being a, yeah, okay. You guys would be fired as GMs so quickly. Yeah, it, I mean, nobody would respond. They probably want to give me equity. Word word would get out about what you were doing, and it would be... <laughs> oh, it would, yeah. It would just be... Teams used out of the park. That's how they hired the Epstein. They had him... The job interview was him playing yeah, out maybe, of the park. Yeah, maybe 20 years ago. Yeah. Not now. Well, but it wouldn't be that ridiculous. I really want that. It would be amazing if you did, like, an invincible-type story <laughs> to you becoming a GM. No, of think of the movie. Game. And yeah. then the, the whole city turns... It. Sometimes people will buy... The, the, the Clemmer type. It happened in soccer. Somebody in English soccer, somebody yeah. bought a club in a small English town and they made it all analytically based and whatnot. And the people can't go there anymore. They'd be put on a stake. The people who bought it, yeah. they'd be put on a stake. You'd be put on a stake. I would also have. You would ruin I'm it. I'm a fan first. I would have fans. I, believe me, my, if I ever, someone ever gave me $3 billion, if I ever like became like the, the one thing I would buy if I had $3 billion would be an expansion baseball team. I would do, and I would own it. I would run it until I died. It would be great. So I have so like, many rings. So, I could see you being like hated by an entire city like the Bennett family. <laughs> yes. yes. Or, or the Crockett. <laughs> no, well, they moved. They moved. 
moved the I would never move the team. Whatever that situation is, whatever the what they the moved the team. Name? It's the Bennett. The Bennett. They moved Hodges. Hot. No, which one moved the team? Bennett. The Bennett. Mm. The Bennett. Yeah. Uh, they moved. Whoever they they moved from Seattle to Oklahoma City. I wouldn't move a team. Or no, they, no, you would like just run it. <laughs> the city I would not would want this team so bad, and then within two years, MLB is going to be like, "We just got to shut Oh my god! Down. And I gotta tell you, like, Clemmer's such a great, hateable name for like a GM. That people hate. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, like, or a lovable name, Clemmer. Yeah. Oh, I love that Clemmer guy. They're throwing stuff at your car, or they yeah. build a statue yeah. of me. Corrupt Clemmer, like they'd, they'd yeah. be going, they'd be teeing off on you. No, no instead of a statue, they'd have one of those inflatable arm things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they would have it in my honor. Like, oh, Clemmer is crushing another ring for Clemmer. Oh, another World Series championship. Uh, Mook. <laughs> uh, teacher, for sure. Teacher, for sure. We're two to two. A lot of a lot of GM stuff, like, if you think about it, it's, like, man-on-man -man trade talk. <laughs> like, you have to negotiate with other owner, like, other GMs. Yeah. Like, not easy. No, mm. no. I was in not sales for 20 years. I could talk. I could barter. We can do that. But I'm, I'm sure they take you but very computer. seriously. Yeah. All oh, these guys have been doing that their entire <laughs> lives. I yeah. have two. I have two at home at 1 a.m. on my couch every four nights a week my entire life. Yeah. Clemmer gets nervous when, like, the AI proposes a trade offer to him and he, like, doesn't want to counter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't get nervous. I yell at him. I don't care. You yell, I'll yell right back. I'll yell at anyone. Clemmer, I would actually, like, you got to find your way into a front office somehow. Like, oh, I think that would be hilarious. Oh, I would love it so much. Like, they oh. do, like, the, what's, the, what's the movie, The Intern? They do that with Clemmer, except he's, like, a baseball intern. Like, at 45, yeah. it would be very funny. I, I'm all in. Uh, Nikki. I think I'd be a much better teacher than a GM, so I'm going with teacher 100%. Teacher 3 to 2. Where are we going, KB? Uh, teaching. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> not what I would have expected would have won this bracket. No, yeah. me either. But you better teacher. I mean, it's not in the in the context of the bracket it makes sense. Like we probably And, you know, and half the half the bracket was gay. It's also yeah. Or yeah. All those were your submissions Brackets, by the way. Yeah. yeah, they were. Every single one of those. The gay moves. ones were, were moving and the flips Almost. one were KB. The drugs were Nikki. the The gay was was Mook, and then KB's. Your only submission was the gainer. Did we have another flip? <laughs> I knew it. One as well. <laughs> we had two that. flip ones. No, flip one was in the uh, sixteen. Oh, oh, flip right. one was in the chain, and that was also KB. I right. will say, if I had to choose, Thanks. I know I sent a few. I would have put long snapper over yeah. NASCAR driver. Did have that. Ooh, that's good. But yeah. you'd get demolished, like run over. Oh, I, 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 I would be bad at that. One tackle, I'm dead. You get them all. That's the problem. There is the. the that is that. true. Yeah, all you do yeah, is be a good magician, though. That's the the, the logical. Magician next step. would be tough because you have to be really entertaining and then also mm -hmm. do magician the magician. Magicians are talented. I was, I was more making the joke yes. because that long snapper from the Eagles that a became great a magician. Oh. oh, a great magician. Is really oh yeah, talented. we saw a great magician a, a couple months ago. Amazing. I was oh. my brain is still broken. I was watching a YouTube video recently about how. Back in the day, like in the mid two thousands, a pickup things like pickup artists would do would they they would pretend to be magicians in bars, and go up to girls and like give them a duck of cards. That's how they would start their conversation. Love that. Imagine doing that now. <laughs> like that what was that guy from the the pickup artist show? Is it mystery? Was I think that himself? was the guy yeah. I was watching last time. Like, popped up on yeah. my YouTube. Like he's on like VH1 or something. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah. He would go up and he would. That's how. And then it became a thing. And they, they would always say it too. They'd be like, "Yeah, it's my foolproof way of picking up women. Walk up to him with a deck of cards. Yes. and be like, pick a card. <laughs> and honestly, it's pretty disarming. Like if if I was a girl and like I'm afraid of creepy guys and like somebody came up with something that innocuous in like 2006. I'd be like, okay, yeah, I like, guess it's a reasonable thing. It's but now it'd be really creepy. Yeah, 2006 pickup game. Yeah. Bummer, you remember that? Or? No, the show? No. Pick up, pick up game in 2006. Like playing basketball? No, no, he's, he's doing. He's doing. I don't know what he's talking about. I'm not doing that. No, you like pick up picking up women. women in in oh, pick, oh, we never called it. We didn't call it that. What'd you call it? I pick, like, we didn't call it pick up game. It was just like, hey, you go to the bar. Yeah, because you, you, you didn't have dating apps or anything. So you had to go to the bar and you just talk to people. Yeah, how that? How was it? Baseball box. It was. Like, I'm not. I'm not afraid of like. So like, for, if you are, I think we had this conversation before. If you're someone that's like more like, uh, willing to talk to anyone, whatever conversation, like it's a lot easier. Confident, if you're yeah. if you're a shyer person, it must have been really challenging. I'm not. Like I'll go to whatever. What'd you talk to women about? Oh, whatever. I, I mean, Baseball. I, no. You don't get married seven times. A little bit <laughs> no, like anything. You've movies, been married music. Seven no, times. No, I've been married twice. I'm on my second times. marriage. Second marriage. Second marriage. Hey, wouldn't this be a lot more romantic if we were at the baseball bar? <laughs> <laughs> no, but no. I, I think I could talk about movies. I can talk about with anything. I hope it with everybody. I hope that's like one of my skills. I hope that's something I'm good at. I think it is. Yeah, but it's that's like, your go-to move with women is talk about movies. 
movies, TV, whatever, like whatever is going on. I mean, like whatever. If there's a, a goofy show on TV on the, at the bar, make fun of that. If there's a kind of a, a clown that I'm with, make fun of him. Whatever, like just like shit on stuff. Yeah, yeah. like I mean, so I you're know. a cynic. You're the guy that puts others down to lift yourself up. Uh, yeah. I think we all do that. You do that more than anybody here. That's not true. Not with women. <laughs> I respect other my other men. Yeah, too much. I wish, I'd I would, rather never get laid again than put down one of the boys for pussy. I would love to watch you at a bar, bar. like teaching someone here to pick up women. No, I, like, I, you'd be I, the pickup so artist, like the, the voice in their ear. I, it's been so long. I mean, I'm sure I'm not good. I'm sure whatever was good back then doesn't work. But that's now. what would make it funny. I would actually, I would earnestly love to watch. I mean, honestly, like, I, all joking aside, just be like, don't be afraid. Uh, have confidence in what you're saying. Be honest. Can you and, guys, and be a good person? Can you guys do hard. this? Can you do this thing where uh, like, like you just dead face say whatever Clemmer tells you to do in the bar? Like, but you treat that, it earnestly. Yeah. Like, so you, I can't. I see. I would want to fuck with them. No, I know, but like it, earnestly. Why can't we just so have Clemmer do it himself? No, I'm not gonna do that. No, but it wouldn't it'd be easier oh, for you to do it then. I know, but I'm not gonna do that. It'd be, it'd be easier for you to do it, I think, in a cr- in a crowd at a bar of like it's gonna be mostly younger people. Clemmer get kicked out. <laughs> I wouldn't get kicked. I do. People don't think I'm as old as you. This weird old. The guy only here reason. The only reason. The TV shows. You know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy really hates. Uh, He's making fun of everyone here. Yeah. No, no. But like, you just, you just, you just have fun. Like, Bouncer picks up with one hand. <laughs> I, I think I'm very easy to talk to. I, I'm, right, I'm a good conversationalist. I'm a good. That's uh, one thing. I, I am scrawny and weird looking, but I'm a good conversationalist. Uh, all right. Well, that's the winner of the bracket. Uh, being a teacher. Uh, thanks for listening. Well, we won't have a Christmas. Wait. Do, do I get a prize for having the? You winning do get a prize. Topic? Oh, your yeah, prize? that was your pick. Yeah, hey. So Nikki, gets your, a trophy. your reward is that you get to come back and be on the next episode we do. So that's Got your him. actual reward, and, and you do get a trophy next time trophy. we see you. Yeah, and uh, he he uh, picks the topic, right? You do get to pick the topic. I'll give you a suggestion Ooh. if you want it, but otherwise you do get to pick the topic. I'll okay. take the suggestion. Yeah, uh, but we will. We won't have a Christmas episode, but we'll be back in the new year. So we'll see you guys in uh, 2024.